Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mim's house. Um, it's kind of late tonight, but it was after our game. Clemson won against Syracuse. But today, what I, I have went to the mailbox kind of late. And I got one yesterday, and then I got two today. I finished up my uh, picture, as you know, in the video that I'm going to post before this one. Have already kitted up my next picture, and I'm going to show you which one that'll be as well. So stay tuned. All right, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you the next picture that I'm going to uh, start on. And it is this bear because I am in, in the season right now is coming into fall. I think Monday or Tuesday's like official fall here um, in uh, un the United States. So I'm already wanting to decorate my house with fall colors and things. It's my favorite time of year that and Christmas time. Love the lights at Christmas. And Okay, this is the picture. Now I have this, I have my light. Okay, that's better, I think. You can see it, not too much glare, but that's it right there. It's a bear with a black bear on, on a tree, in a tree, I guess, with the fall leaves all around. And it's got all these wonderful fall colors that we just love. And so that is gonna go on I don't have my clear cover, it's in another room. I'm gonna, I always take these and put them on my cover so I'll know what kit that I'm doing. And this is what I do is I, I take the inventory sheet and I make stickers out of my Xyron maker out of it and I fix them on there because it has the symbols and all of that. That's what I use. So yeah, I've got this already. Here it is, all flattened out for you. And um, I may do a live, if I can figure out how they do it. Okay, let's see what, what this one is. And I'm pretty sure most of these come from AliExpress. So, and this is a different box I haven't ever gotten before. So that's, that's a little different. I need to know where it come from. Hmm. Okay, this is really neat. Now let's see, they've got the taped, I think. Thanks, and see how the, this one comes like, not rolled up around a foam bowl, uh, roll. It just is put in there and then it ends up taking on the shape of the, of the, um, the box which if the box gets crushed, that means this may also get crushed. But it come pristine, so I'm like, yay! All right, we'll just pull it on out of there. Put the box down, unroll it, and we've got the regular tweezers. Oh, what am I doing over here? Regular with a white boat and the wax. Okay, and I'll come back to those cute ones, the little kids, and see. <laughs> I love those. I just love them. They're whimsical. They're like um, it's like when you watch the little kids in the 30s and 40s movies. They're so cute and so sweet, and especially at this age. Um, I'm carefully pulling it back. Hopefully, no, this is the bottom. I'm gonna show you the bottom while I got it up. And I have a big bubble, three big bubbles, but I can fix them. And I wonder if you can see those big bubbles. But do you see the picture? Isn't that cute? It's a little beagle with his little boy. 
and there is bubbles in this canvas. You can see them right there at the top, right there where the light's going back and forth. I do believe that's where it's at. Yep. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut it with a uh, my X-Acto knife gently so I don't go all the way through, just through the adhesive. And then I'll use um, something like this or my tweezers or something to fly, or a credit card or whatever to flatten it down really carefully uh, to get the air out. Sort of like when you put the decals on your car, you know, that type of thing. So if you've ever done that, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, let's turn this around and open the top. It is a 40 by 55 and it is from um, AliExpress um, and yes there's more or is this the same ones it may be the same bubbles <laughs> here's the top and the bubbles are down here now so it may have be it may be the same ones but isn't that cute I'm gonna, I'll pull it down a little bit more you see the little dog's head yes he's got a little baseball mitt isn't that awesome he is so cute I love Love, 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 love him. He's so sweet. Okay. And pull it back. And I will get to work on that bubble after this video. So I can go ahead and get it out and it can be flattened. Okay. Now for the, the, the colors that comes with an inventory sheet. Sorry. Um, the inventory sheets are so important. Because you saw how I like to stick them on my... Um, my containers uh, and so it just makes everything so much easier and everything I don't have to go and scan the side of the picture to make them so you can scan this if it doesn't come with it and then you know print that out you can do that when it doesn't come with it which I need a new printer okay this one has Well, it doesn't say how many. It just has the symbols over here. It shows you how many bags of each color. The color number, DMC color, sorry, is this right here. That's the DMC code. And that's the, num that's the number of this color that goes in this spot. This is how many bags you should have of this number okay this number is how many is on the actual painting itself of that color so really you don't really some people only print the the piece number how many how many actual drill diamonds and there's usually approximately 200 in each small bag there's 200 in each small bag Big bags, that's like 5,000. So that's how you would count it. If you were kidding up your own picture, that's how you would count how many bags you would need. And what I'll do is I'll go through these and you can see it's all fall colors too. Even though it is a baseball one, it's a, it's a fall one, so you can see all the fall colors. So I'm not gonna get them all out, I will go through them. We're putting this up now. Over here, we're gonna open up the white one. Let's open up the white one. And don't you just love this? When they come from China, they you they they always put something around their package. It's really I just not the, I love it. Um, it's so different than what we're used to here in America. It's so tight on there. I may not. And see, this is like our Aunt Susan in our family at Christmas when we were little. She would tape everything up. I think she got a kick out of it. More like she got a kick out of seeing us trying to open up her presents because they were always taped so well you couldn't get a finger hold in there. My brother started carrying a knife with him. <laughs> 
I've had it with your tape. And started. <laughs> yep. Oh, look. That is such a nice. Look at this. I will have to tell you what company this one come from. About right now. And isn't that neat? It come with its own little storage box. They didn't have to do that. Didn't even, they didn't even charge me for it. It comes with it. <laughs> they are, I'm already in love with them. And some little baggies, too. They want to make sure you have what you... You have enough to... Oh, looky, looky. Look! More freebies. Freebies. Look at that! Tell you what, this company, it's already a one in my book. Okay, this is a Christmas one. And there's a story behind this one. The reason I got this one, it's sort of plain. Anybody else would probably look at it and say, that's sort of plain. Why did you order that one? My family is from the uh, North Carolina mountains, right? And the number, one of the number one things that they sell up there, I'm talking about the Appalachian Mountains up in the tallest part near Mount Mitchell. Blue Rock, Burnsville, Spruce Pine, uh, Alt Pass, Kona, uh, all, all them places up there. The higher elevation allows them to be able to grow evergreens, some evergreens that will not grow in hotter and lower elevations they're able to do the the Fraser firs and the blue spruces a lot of people down here think that they're when just on the side note if you're going to get a potted Christmas tree that has the roots and then go take it and put it outside and plant it if you're in a lower level like we are here in South Carolina you cannot do it if it's a Fraser fir blue spruce um, Douglas for all those high alto, it, it'll die. It'll just die. Don't waste your time. Just get one that's cut if you want that kind of tree, the small needle ones, the ones that's the, the most bought. The long needle ones, you can because they grow those down here in South Carolina. All over in South Carolina, there'll be Christmas tree farms. There's not as many Christmas tree farms as they used to be, but my family... It dates back, I mean, all, a lot of my family members, um, heritage, uh, That's that was how they lived, is they grew and still grow Christmas trees. They're the ones that, that Lowe's and Home Depot and all those companies get those trees from them and bring them down here. They're already cutting them around thanks, uh, the, a week or two before Thanksgiving. So it, the earlier you get it, if you're going to get one, you want to get it in water get it as fast as you can in water but anyways this is one side of it and what this is is a Christmas tree place that's the wreaths it's where they sell them see the little light bulbs you see that you see the little light bulbs up there that and this canvas is pristine I'm telling you what that side doesn't have anything wrong with it now, my putting the thing back down, I made a bubble on with that, but it's not on, you know, under the, the uh, adhesive. Okay. Oh, I'm sticky. Some good glue. This is a good company. Very good company. I'm not seeing any problem. Okay. Here is, now let me see if I can get it around. The other side. And you see there, there's the sign for Christmas trees for sale. Christmas trees for sale. You probably won't be able to read it whenever my hair stuck to it. Anyways, you probably won't be able to read the wording. It's not big enough. This is a 50 by 40. If you can see up there, it is a 50 by 40. But I'm going to tell you right now, I had to have it. Because it reminds me of my sweet family and in the mountains, my papa, my mama's daddy, 
had Christmas trees all over his property, all over the side of a mountain. Whenever you go up there for, for miles and miles and miles, once you get up that elevation, you can see all these different families all have Christmas trees growing on the sides of their mountains. I mean, it's not flat up there. Unless you get into a valley right next to a river, it's flat, but most of it's, you know, up. And I mean, you're talking about you go up a major mountain, and then when you get up there, you think you're at the top, and then you look, and there's more way up there. And you're like, okay, we're here, and everybody else is way down there. That's the way it is. <laughs> and there's all these Christmas trees everywhere. Everywhere. And they're growing everywhere, different sizes. Some of them have different colored colors, things on them. But whenever it's time, the, these companies will come in there and buy those Christmas trees from them and bring them down here. They'll even get the ones with the roots, the root ball on them. Please don't, don't make that mistake. It, if yours has, and you're in a hot, low-lying elevation, and yours has grown, you just let me know. You have a hardy, hardy, hardy tree. And you got a good green thumb because it's it's living. You must have planted it in the right spot and just really uh, babied it. And the Lord loves you. <laughs> because that is one reason why you don't see. Now, you can see some blue spruces around here. Um, depends on how woody and, and cool and moist the uh, area is that you have put it at. Okay, and now you know we're going to have some wonderful Christmas colors. Oh, and I love the way they printed the numbers on these. They're red, me metallic red on one or two of them. I saw it. It's only on one. <laughs> now, these are blue. There's different metallic colors for the numbers. Okay, here is I know that one had to have 40, 40 or 50, 40, 30 or 40, at least 30. You see how many colors here? And do you see the, the picture? I'm going to show this picture to you. See if I can do it without getting it in, in the shadow. But you see that? Isn't that just the sweetest thing? It is for me because we used to go up and buy some from our family up there and come down here and sell them. We've done that a couple years in the first of our marriage and stuff and enjoyed that. That was always so, that was always fun. And a lot of people would come back the next year and say, yours was just the best Christmas tree. <laughs> we had to come back. And I'm saying, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, we'd keep them in buckets. They'd stay wet, they'd stay. Now look at there. You see that? It's a metallic blue writing on there. I hate to point with my middle finger. I tell my husband, ah, you're getting old. You're pointing with your, your middle finger. Now here I go. Okay, now see this? Look at this. Don't it. I'm getting that excited. Now look how many that is. Woo, it's like a snake. And each one of these has 200 of this color. But you see that pretty? <laughs> I'm usually saying the, the, the diamonds are pretty, but look at the numbers. Little metallic red. I think it's awesome. Okay. So you saw the white. You know, obviously, that's the snow. And we have some burgundies with the blue right there. Some of the light greens. Some of those light greens. You can hear the cat in there. Or Anna going to bed or something going on. Gray, gray greens. Come on. I know you're not focusing. I can see you. You're not focusing. It's probably the light that's causing it. But anyways. Okay. More grays. You can see this blue gray. Well, these are just gray. These are just a smoky gray. It looks blue because of the the numbers on there. So I again, here's some purples. And see, a lot of people think weird. They have blue and purples for the shadows and snow. That's what. That's how you do it. 
gray snow and black and dark snow like that with grays that looks like it's dirty you want your purples and you want your pretty blues like this one this one and you know I showed you these and then you've got some navy navy blues you can see those I'll put them over here because I'm all closer to the light you can see them a little better it's harder to do these vlogs at night time I'm noticing look at this pretty blue what color yep it's a blue I'll turn it away from that pretty metallic so you can see the actual really the real thing it's right there and yes we have some reds some pretty reds and some pinks I got some pinks in here some of you that are pink fans some dusty pink and some whoop thought I dropped it anyways I don't want to lose any of these and there's another burgundy see how pretty and you know you have your that's a dark that's a, even a dark a darker um, I'm gonna put them all just throw them in this bag so I'm like I said I'm gonna go through them and just I have to go through and check them off to make sure they give me all the the ones that I have and see Aliexpress won't pay will not pay the store that I bought it from until I click that I received it and I will not click received until I make sure that all those all that comes with that will be in it that they've sent to me the right amount and um, if if they don't I will message email the seller and tell them I need this certain number of diamonds that you didn't you didn't send to me and this is the number and everything and most of the time they're really good about sending them to you you have to wait for them so if you don't have anything else to do no other painting that could get aggravating because you know it is for coming from China so I'm thinking this one come from Kentucky so I'm wondering what it is it may not even be a diamond painting it looks so much like one let me look in here and see it might not be yep it is it is a diamond painting they must have already had it here in Kentucky or there's an American company or something I don't know oh yeah I love it now let's see what tools they give us okay just the regular and some baggies and a, a, a bigger size wax and some of them um, no freebies, but that's okay. I got some nice freebies from that last one. Okay, let me go ahead. You see how they use two sections? Right here and right here. Two different sections of the uh, adhesive tape that they use. It's like a double-sided tape. And they've got a wrinkle. They've got some wrinkles in it. One side is nice and straight and flat with no wrinkles, hardly at all. The other side, though, they must not have had as good a hand. You can see the, oh yeah, you can see right there. But I'm hoping that it's just been, some of them, the, the sticky will separate from the, the backing and it, and it won't have any kind of bubble there. Most of the time that's what, and so I have to, and whenever there's a, a line down the middle where they put two different sections on, I have to make sure one is not overlapping the other one because when I pull one up, I don't want to pull up the one that's underneath the other one because then I'm pulling up the other one's adhesive from the canvas. So we don't want that. So I have to look very carefully. And I'm thinking the one closest to me 
is the one was the last one put on so yeah I'm thinking so and making sure I'm rubbing down my corners to make sure that they really adhere to the picture before I try to attempt to raise the the backing up okay here we go one side this one reminds me of the reason oh you hear that it's creases just little small creases throughout and it's from that crease in the backing it did cause a crease okay so now i'm going to fold that crease i mean not well fold that back so it'll stay and i think i'm on the yeah i'm always doing the bottom first <laughs> make you guess as long you have to guess that's what makes it so much fun what you think it's going to be you might be able to tell okay whoever guesses it or if you think you guess it when i hold it up put it in the comments that you you got it or whatever again all right let's try again can you guess what it is can you guess what that is I'm not gonna tell you but you can see some of the, the creases from that the uh, I hate creases you know I just I hate creases but anyways, I'm going to try to get it to where you won't get too much of a glare. But that's almost impossible, ain't it? Okay. I'm going to lay it back down. You will probably be able to tell what it is once I show you the top. Okay. Can you tell now what it is? <laughs> He is so wonderful, he or she. Um, I grew up with labs, with a, with a sweet little lab. As you probably, if you've watched my other videos, I may have mentioned. And yeah, those creases are over there too. But I will fix them as I go. They're not too bad. But um, I'll tell you. He was awesome. He, he killed a copperhead out from under my feet, and I didn't know that there was a copperhead under my foot. He was a sweet dog. Best dog we've ever had. Um, as far as, as, he wouldn't let nothing harm you at all. Loving, just the lovingest dog. Oh! Well, not yet. It's that oil that they use in the machine to keep them going good, I guess. And it just gets in the, I guess, whenever it does the, the diamonds, it gets it, it gets on it. It gets on them. Some packs will have it on there. And if you do, I don't know if I, I probably have told you, get a mug, coffee mug, coffee filter, put the diamonds down in that coffee filter and pour rubbing alcohol. And then, you know, kind of gather it up and, and kind of do that in the alcohol. Then gently squeeze the alcohol out and lay it on a flat surface. It'll dry within 30, 40 minutes to where you can use them. No more oil on there. Best thing to do. And you, I hear people washing them with soap and all that stuff. Y'all wear me out. Okay. But that's okay if that's what you enjoy doing. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to me. If it works for you, hey, go for it. I just, I just like to go faster. I, I don't know. Some other person's probably got one, a, a better, faster version than me. And you can see the picture that it's going to be. Yep. So, and let's see. It has 32, 32. 32 uh, 
colors. So that's the last one. I will, and you can see definitely, they're all pretty much browns and grays and khakis and blacks. And there is some orange and blues and greens and beige. So I will go through these right now and see if they have I'll, uh, I'll check them off and when I'm done I will let I will put the results right here quickly this one the Labrador one had all its had all of its uh, diamonds packed the little boy had all of its diamonds as well packed. This one on the other hand with the Christmas trees that everything's so pristine they gave all that extra stuff. The canvas is great. They gave extra bags of some of them. Some of the diamonds. But it's missing five packs of diamonds of the another the color 823 so i'm gonna have to email them and tell them i need five bags of 823 hopefully they'll send it and i don't have to call i mean i don't have to message uh, aliexpress that they're not sending it to me um, if i don't get a tracking number that looks like it's actually coming to my house i i will Pull out a dispute really quick because you pay for it. They gave me a lot of extras. I'm not going to be really hard on this company. That What it was was they gave me 10 of the regular 200 bags. Uh, I was supposed to have 15 bags. I think what they done is they pulled out 10 and was going to give me one of the big 5,000 bags. The bigger bags of 5,000 diamonds in it. And I think they forgot to pull that out and put it in the back, you know, in the pack. So I think that's, that's all that's happened. So I'm not going to be really belligerent or anything like that. If I can't get them, I'm probably just going to buy it from an Etsy seller and hope it's the, the right color. A lot of times, uh, different manufacturers of diamonds, their colors tend to be a little off sometimes from others. You can't help that. But anyways, it... I just won't do it until I get those and I'll mix them in if they're if they're not like the other ones I'll just have to see if I can't figure it figure something out um, it's a dark color it's a really dark color it's this color right here it's this one right here it's a navy dark navy so so it's mainly most of the background. So I could probably mix it all together and it would still kind of look pretty good. So it'll be fine. I'm not, I'm not too upset over it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you uh, hit like, hit the notification bell, subscribe please. We're at like 35 or 34 subscribers when we get to 50. I've got four diamond paintings extras that I have that I'd like to give away. Please share, share, have your friends come and subscribe. Even if they don't watch, they may win and give it to you. So uh, that would be a great thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> so get your family involved. Uh, get your chill, you know, young teens, um, girls around nine and up. I'd say nine and up maybe seven and up that can really, uh, or children that are really good, are careful and know that concept of one at a time on the right place, the right one on the right place. Cause sometimes you can get really mixed up, mixed up. I get mixed up. Sometimes I put the wrong things on the wrong symbols and have to go back and take them off. It's a good thing I have guardian angels cause I think they tap me on the shoulder. Uh, they tell me all the time. I mean, it's just like your conscience. It's your conscience. It's what it is. It's, it's your guardian angels or the Lord telling you, hey, you know what? 
You better check it. I don't think that's the right symbol for that's not the right diamond for that symbol. You need to check that again. And good golly, it is. It's, I always feel so stupid. But it, everybody makes that mistake. So don't feel stupid. Okay, I have a special diamond shaped pen, uh, I mean, diamond pen uh, that is turned, hand turned, that um, should be in next week sometime or the, or the week after. And I can't wait to. To get that one anyways thank you thank you for watching